On today's video, I'm going to show you all how to add your team member's name on top of your board. It can either be your Scrum board, your Kanban board, um, basically to have your name on top of here, either in this view, backlog view, Kanban board view, so it can be easier for you to facilitate your daily Scrum meeting in the morning. And welcome back to Aisha Scrum. I'm very happy to have you all. For my current subscriber, my new subscriber, I welcome you to my channel. If you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at aishascrumtech.com. So now let's get into the video. So for me to add my team member's name at the top of my board so I can easily, um, easily click on their name so you can show uh, all their cards they're working on, I have to go to... There's three dots up here. I click on the three dots. Then I go to board settings. And for some of you at work, it might be uh, you have to click these three dots or maybe the drop down arrow. Um, when you click on the, you click the drop down arrow, then up here it's going to show you configure. It's still the same. Either it says configure, board settings. And by the way, before you can configure this board, and also before you can add a team member name on top or even play around with the board itself, you have to be a board administrator. Uh, Jira project administrator is one thing, right? Because the last video I showed you how to give people access to the project itself. And now we have to ensure that in the, pro in the before you can do this in the board settings, we have to ensure that you are a board administrator. So then let me now click on the board setting. If you go under general, you'll see up here that says that I'm a admin, right? Aisha, I'm the board uh, administrator. Since I'm already have my access, you can always click on the pencil right here and you add, I can add more people to have the board admin, right? And if you're a new Scrum Master that just first joined your company, you should definitely ask for that, right? And now back to the video for me to now add this team member's name on top of my board so I can easily click on their name. I have to go under quick filters. I click on quick filters. And as soon as I click on quick filters, they've already Jira by default, already created this uh, quick filters. I have only my issue because then I can view only my issue that I've, I'm working on or recently updated. We can also like um, view that right away. That's already on top of our board. And for me now to add this particular team member's name, I'll just come to name. I'll put in their name. I'm going to put uh, Ahmad and you know, now configure the JQL. And for that, for me to have this particular person on my board, I'm going to put assignee right here. As soon as people start typing, it shows up, right? And you click on it and I'll hit the space bar. And when I hit the space bar, I'm going to hit the equal sign. And I hit the space bar. And then I can put in their job user username or their email. In this case, sometimes so at work, it starts showing you all of this list of names and I'm gonna put uh, his name because that's his user ID. Then description, I'm gonna have him as developer. And up here, this add column, and I now hit add. So I've now added this person at the top of my board and I'm gonna show you all how it's gonna look like in your board. So now I'm going to add another person on the board. And for me to add this particular person, I'm going to go right in star. And I'm going to do the same thing, assign it. And I hit the space bar, equal. And I'll put my email. And then I'm going to add a Scrum Master. And I hit add. Then for me to view all this name that I've created, you can create as multiple quick uh, filter up here. So you can have all your team members name on top of your board. You can have everyone name. And let's say I want Amber's name on top and I want this at the bottom. And I can also just click and drag and move that on top and put that at the bottom. And you can do the same thing for everything. I can click and drag and move everything up and down so you can rearrange it as you see fit or however you want it to look in your board. And for me now to view this new filters I've created, I just have to go back to my board. And when I go back to my board, then right there at the top, that's their name. And I have Ahmad and I have Edstar. So now I have these two names up here. So any ticket that's assigned to Ahmad, I can just click the name and all of their tickets will show up just in one click. And I can also go to my Kanban board view. And when I go to the Kanban board view, I'll also now see their names. I'll see Ahmad and I'll see Edstar. And 
that's just simple way how you can add uh, your team member's name on top of the board, your scrum board or your Kanban board. And thank you all for watching this video. I hope to see you all again in my next video. My next video, I'm going to try to uh, introduce whip limits, how to add whip limits on our Kanban board so we can ready for work. And thank you all for watching this video and see you all again in my next video. Thank you.